Hi there, this is Sarah Winslow here. I am a professional psychic medium and spiritual counselor in the beautiful uh, state of Maine here in the US. Uh, I am here doing my weekly update. I was gonna do one last week and I didn't have time because I was just too busy. Um, and I think it's an important time for me to pop on here and do one of these. Um, I don't think I'll do an extended. Um, I may, if I do it, I'll pop it in later on. Just wanted to really get uh, some important uh, energetic channeled information out there for this last week of October 2020 as we head into the beginning of November 2020. So uh, as everyone knows, here in the U.S., things are a little bit uh, ramped up and uh, uh, nerve-wracking for everybody as we're facing uh, a presidential election on November 3rd. Um, Astrology-wise, it's interesting that this is happening right now because of the fact that we are in a Mercury retrograde and people are doing mail-in ballots and Mercury tends to screw up communication lines, emails, mail, <laughs> timing of things, and Mercury goes direct on November 3rd on Election Day. So um, be wise to cross your T's and dot your I's when voting, when driving, when doing anything, when working, because things are a little bit kooky out there. We also have Mars still retrograde. It's not going forward until November 13th. So things, aggressions and confusion are really high. Things are wonky to say the least. So um, what I advise people to do is to try to like lay low here and there during the week, you know, and try to uh, kind of like work on your own damn self rather than push your opinions out there. Um, be what I call self-focused so that you don't take in the clutter or cluster of other people's stuff into your own decision making. Um, we do have another full moon on, on Halloween on the 31st. We started this month with a full moon and we end with a full moon in Taurus. Uh, and this full moon is a blue moon. It's the hunter's moon. And it, uh, it's, um, I, I reckon the week will from Friday, the 30th until probably the 7th of November, we are in it intensity wise <laughs> this full moon is actually standing right near taurus but also uranus the planet of disruption and sudden change so i think there's going to be a lot of surprising things happening and um a lot of power struggles um around this time i would be very 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 uh cautious in you know driving and all those things on the weekend of the 31st um, and you know triple double check things because uh, it could be a very intense a lot of uh, heightened emotions a lot of heightened mood um, the fact that we are still dealing with this pandemic and uh, it is you know Halloween is a holiday you know for people to celebrate and there's just going to be a lot of confusion in the air and a lot of um, what I'm calling like um, exhaustion from 2020 aka just can't handle it anymore type of vibe so these are the general gist of the feelings that are going on on top of radical changes that are brewing for a lot of people i've been in my sessions i've been seeing some serious shifting of life paths and patterns um not necessarily due to the pandemic but because of the 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 general gist of the vibration of the spiritual growth that we're going through within the framework of 2020. so if you're listening at all to yourself you're hearing the voice of change possibly the voice of reason the voice of boundaries possibly the voice of ending toxic cycles if you're listening really carefully and and following through on that is going to be one of the healthiest things that you can do for yourself is listening to what needs to change and what needs to shift within the framework of your own life because we are amplifying spiritually we're going through big growth spurt that we are headed into towards the end of this year and the beginning of next year when uh when Tor I mean, saturn moves into uh aquarius big changes going on and around that realm we are seriously as they say and this is not a woo-woo thing <laughs> going into the age of aquarius 
the Aquarian age where uh, things are ruled more by the vibration and the energy of what Aquarius stands for, which is societal changes, internet technologies, um, advancements in those arenas, and also intuition. <laughs> Yeah, whoop de doo doo So anyway, um, just just be very, very precise in your own decision making this last week of October 2020. And I would absolutely recommend, which I always do, I'm gonna repeat myself every time I do this, meditation, groundedness, get in nature, drink a lot of water, get quiet, turn off the internet, uh, you know, treat yourself well, eat some yummy food, uh, and when in doubt, get get a good friend and laugh until you cry. Because <laughs> if you're not laughing, you're crying. It's 2020. <laughs> anyway, I hope everyone's doing well, and I will obviously be popping back on here next week. Um, I will probably be going quite quiet at the end of the week myself. So, uh, but I will be posting on my Facebook and Instagram and stuff like that. So, you know, you can find all those links down here in the description box and, you know, my website and, uh, yeah, hang in there, everybody. I'm sending you all my love. I love every single one of you like share and subscribe. Have a great day. Bye.